Ilaf Al Hussein used to enjoy going on walks with her father in Idlib. Her family moved there after fleeing the bombings in their home city of Aleppo, but they didn't find safety. The pair were going to get an aid basket containing food when there was an airstrike. Ilaf lost consciousness. Her left leg had to be amputated. I can't live normally. I want to get out and play with my friends, but I can't. I watch them from the balcony and start crying because I can't. <laughs> the 10-year-old's mother, Asma, cares for her seven children and does what she can to comfort Ilaf. Her daughter's injury came just a few weeks after her husband lost his leg in a car accident. I didn't think it was possible for two people in the same family to lose their legs and walk using crutches. I was in denial. I thought it might just be a wound. When I visited her, she had surgery on her intestines and her other leg. It was also about to be cut off. The UN says 86,000 Syrians have lost limbs in the country's eight-year war. In all, one and a half million have been permanently injured. The UN also says explosive hazards like landmines are an ongoing threat to children in Syria. Asma says it's now difficult for Ilaf to get to school and that she no longer enjoys walking with her father because now that they're disabled, people stare at them. Despite these challenges, her mother says Ilaf's proving an excellent student. I returned to school and started studying and doing my homework. My teacher always tells me, you're so smart. When I grow up, I hope to be an art teacher and paint what happened in Syria. A hopeful dream of her future to tell the next generation what happened to hers in Syria. Sarah Balter, TRT World.